good morning guys in this video we will learn about uh, backup repositories so backup repository is uh, important here because it decide which location we want to keep our backup files so by default there is a backup repository okay this is the home if you go to the backup infrastructures and we have learned in the last video about backup proxies so there's a backup repository is the next first of all there's a default backup repositories and it says your backup is going to be stored in your c drive into the backup folder that and that is the capacity for the drive and this is the free space but in case you want to set your backup on a different location what you can do is you can simply go to the backup repository and click add repository now it let you choose so many options the first start with the direct attached storage network attached storage deduplicating storage appliance by using dell or other and object storage so i'll be using a direct storage first of all so i'm selecting this now it asks you it's a linux platform or a microsoft so choose the desired platform and by default it give a name backup repository one when you create the second it give two three and so on but you can rename it the way you want so i am leaving it default so i'm going next now this is the server on this server i am going to keep my backup so this is my server but in any case you want a different server you can select from the drop down or you can simply go to the add new and type the ip address of the server so in my case i do not have any extra server i am using the same server just click on populate so populate will show you the free spaces in this particular server how many drives are there which particular drive you want to use so it show me the c drive but i am already using a c drive and a backup folder so i will choose this time f drive and i go with the next so path to the folder is on the f drive there is a backups folder is there okay it is going to create if you want to choose a different location you can simply go and and you can say you can find it out and here whatever it is you can select any different folders so now again there are some advanced repository settings are there now the first one is align backup data file block allow to achieve better deduplication ratio on deduplication storage devices leveraging constant box size deduplication increase the backup size when backing up to the raw disk storage and others there are other few options you can read them and you can check as per your requirement i am leaving them default go next this is the mod server that's uh, my machine where i am storing it again you can set up a new and go next those things are already exist but if you make apply So it is bought to finish. Yeah. Now all things has been done. Now simply go next and finish. Now he's asking change the configuration backup location to the newly repository. He's saying by default the backup goes to the default backup repository, but you have created one. If you say yes all the backup will start going to the backup repository when i will say no i'm just creating it for testing then another way you can go back again to the backup repository and select even network storage if you are having a network share or anything 
So I'm again going with the direct storage and using Microsoft platform backup repository two, and again I'm using uh, populate option. So I'm using this time C and next, 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 and apply. So starting the process, let us wait for some time. Okay, it's done. Next and finish. Why I created these two backup repositories? One I just to show you, another one also. And I am going to use in the next video the scale lot repository where I am using these two. I will also explain you. So whenever you take backup by default, it goes to this one, and uh, you can set any one as a default backup repositories. So. Now what you can do is you can remove them, okay, and you can go to the property and if you are looking for some sort of a changes, you can still make changes, you know, so that we all have these features, we can edit them, fine, even the default one and go to the properties and go to the servers, repositories and if you feel any changes required, you can still make edit changes to it. Thank you.